A smart world where everything connects in real time and works on its own. A life where all things are provided with convenience before necessary. To achieve this, a company that has stood at the top of technology and technology, connecting technology between the present and the future, Nepis. Super Connected Services Company, Nepis leads the system semiconductor sector and provides optimal solutions. Furthermore, it is becoming a leading company in photoresist technology for semiconductors. Nepis, who has challenged the extraordinary path. Founded in 1990, Nepis started a history of extraordinary challenges by successfully domesticizing semiconductor developments for the first time in Korea in 1992. Nepis, which has opened the history of semiconductor materials in Korea, has also succeeded in developing photoresist and producing it. Even in cell phones and self-driving cars that we see every day, the Nepis photoresist technology is alive. Semiconductor that stores information and delivers it in real time. Photoresist materials indispensable in semiconductor manufacturing? This material technology makes complex semiconductors cheaper to manufacture in large quantities. No matter how stubbornly high-tech semiconductor chips are made, it is useless if they are not connected to the outside world. The technologies that connect semiconductor chips to the outside world are bumping and wire bonding technologies. Bumping can produce more ion arrays at a lower cost than wire bonding and deliver electrical signals at higher speeds by reducing electrical signal loss. The early bumping process was mainly done in the form of a sphere called solder bump. However, as the number of semiconductor I.O. increases and the pattern becomes finer, copper bump is mainly used. The copper bump process is the process of coating the photoresist on the wafer, plating copper, and peeling the photoresist after exposure. The bumping height varies from 10 to 150 micrometer and the bumping height varies depending on the type of photoresist used. Let's learn about the photolithography technology of Nepis. In photolithography technology, there are five processes. 1. PR coating coat the wafer with photoresist by spin coating. To exposure. Use UV to change the nature of the photoresist. At this time, make the part where the light touches, and the part where it doesn't touch, through the mask with the desired pattern. The part of the positive PR exposed, to light is removed, through the development process. The negative PR leaves the exposed part of the light. Nepis has prepared both positive, PR, and negative PR. 3. Develop. The process of removing unnecessary parts of exposed PR. 4. Etch. It is a process to make patterns by etching the deposited material, using photoresist. 5. Strip. Finally, it's a process of peeling off the missing photoresist. Nepis can be supplied to the photoresist, developer, etchant, stripper required for the bumping process. NUTP 264, a negative PR, can be 60 micrometer thick with single coating. NAP 2052, a positive PR, can implement 50 micrometer thickness as single coating and can have a CD value of up to 10 micrometer thickness. We help you with high-tech semiconductor processes with developer, stripper, and etchant that can digest more wafer processes. In the fourth industrial era, the evolution of technology, devices, and high-tech industries will accelerate. Nepis, a hyper-connected service company, will also do its best as a global top-tier partner to make human life more prosperous and happy in line with these changes. Global top-tier partner Nepis.